Wait, do we do we have? I think we got a mega fight coming up too. Uh, we got Woodley Paul too. We got the rematch. <laughs> we got the we got Apollo Creed versus Rocky Balboa parts. <laughs> yes, it's going down. Uh, it's going down, and it's next weekend. Yeah, apparently Tyson Fury's uh, brother uh, pulled out uh, last minute. He said he was dealing with some stuff. Did you of see course, the video? Uh, Jake Paul. No, no, of, of uh, Tommy Fury, Tyson's brother. What happened? I didn't, I didn't see the video. I'm, I'm going to send it to you. He actually broke his ribs oh, in, uh, in training. There, there's a video circulating. Um, as you've seen before, boxers, as, as they do their, their ab conditioning, they you know have someone throwing a heavy bag on them. Yeah. And he was like on his side, I guess, you know, they were working on his side and stuff and the heavy bag is being thrown on him and then he breaks his, he, he cracks a rib which they later find out, and that's why he had to pull out of the fight. Oh man, see, this—I this, mean, not that I really, because I really could care less about Jake Paul. I'm, I'm looking forward to him getting his ass whooped. But the fact, the fact that he was talking so crazy, uh, uh, you know, about Tommy, it was like, like he was ducking you, so to speak. You know what I mean? Like the way he was talking was like he just was like, "Nah, I'm scared. I don't want to fight this kid no more." He got that's a how he sounded. No, he got crack ribs, man. It, it was, a, it was a freak accident in training. Um, and during his conditioning, he cracks his ribs. Okay, because he's like, yeah, because this is going to be the biggest payday, and blah blah blah. And they just, I'm just and I'm like, it's, and it sounds fishy to me when I'm listening to this kid speak. But I'm just like, all right, whatever, because I wanted to see, you know, the rematch with him versus Woodley anyway. Um, now he's, according to 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 Jake, in his in his uh video that he posted up, apparently Tyron Woodley has been training. He has been in training. Um, for how long, I don't know. I can't I can't say. Um, but you know, and I said this in the group chat, you know, with you and, and Fontaine earlier. You know, I just thought when I when I seen he was he was gonna fight Woodley, I'm just like, oh, he's trying to he trying to get get one up, he's trying to get the edge on him, you know, because training and training for a fight is two different things. Now, was he still in working out and boxing? Probably could have been, but was he training for a fight? That's the difference. You know what I mean? So I'm just looking at looking at it from the standpoint of I know Jake Paul likes to have some kind of edge going into the fight against whoever his opponent is, whether it be lack of experience, whether it be, you know, you're washed up, whatever the case may be, he goes into every fight with some type of edge over his opponent. And when I when I saw that, the first thing that came to my mind is I hope that Tyron Woodley is still in, in, in some type of fighting shape. But I just I don't believe that if you, because if you're not planning on fighting, are you are you doing five a week, five days a week training? If you if you're not, you know what I mean? And then just not boxing training. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. You know what I mean? And and, you know, you know, we're big boxing advocates on the show. Uh, big shout out to Ring 10 New York. We are friends of a lot of professional boxers. You know what I mean? So the, we understand the difference between just training and then training for a fight. So was he training or was he training for a boxing match? That's the question. Because if he wasn't, then obviously, you know, Jake Paul, we know he's been training for a boxing fight. So realistically, you know, for him, I'm already in the groove of training and I'm, I'm replacing Fury with somebody I've already fought. So I do have an idea of what I'm getting into, you know what I mean, with this fight. And I'm going to be, like I said, I'm on my A game because I was actually training for a boxing match. I'm going to watch it. He did promise an extra 500K to um, Tyrone Woodley if he could knock him out. Um, that was also something where I said this is also Jake Paul trying to get the edge because, you know, you think you're gonna get gonna have Tyron Woodley focused on knocking you out, and then maybe you catch him slipping. Um, but either way, I hope Tyron Woodley does knock his ass out. Yeah, I wonder if, um, and I haven't heard anything about this, but I wonder if, if they had already had talks as Tyron Woodley as a possible replacement because we didn't even know Tommy Fury pulled out of the fight. We just got the news that Tyron Woodley was going to be the replacement. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So. I wonder if maybe it was a situation where he might have told uh, Tyron, look, be be ready, because if for whatever reason he can't go, then you'll be the replacement. And in that case, then Woodley probably has been training and has been ready to go just in case. 
Because most times when we hear about a fighter having to pull out of a fight, we don't get the replacement the same day. We normally get the replacement a couple of days or a week later when but they even, can work out. But even still, even, even with that, because you're talking about this fight has been booked for months. So yeah, this fight, this fight has been booked for about a good month and a half. Okay, so even so, even still, so you're talking about a month and a half in comparison to ten days. So you still right. got edge, whether, right? No, whether he, you know what I mean. Whether he keeps he, Taiwan, Tyron Willie got the call the same day or even three, four days prior. It's still you've been training for a month and a half. No, no, but what I'm saying is right. So sometimes you'll have a, a, a alternate lined up already. Okay. In case the guy pulls from the, out from the beginning. Right. Um, I'm, and, and there was another fight. Oh, I can't think of his name, but there was, there was an instance of that where there was a guy. Oh, matter of fact, I think when Andy Ruiz got Joshua the first time, he was already kind of a standby fighter just in case for a big, for a big baby. Right. He, I think he was already kind of a standby okay. in case of, and a lot of times that's done because, you know, the venue's already booked, tickets, pay-per-views already start selling. So we can't change the date. We want to try to keep the date. So I don't know. I, I don't know this to be fact. I'm not saying that Woodley all this time has been preparing as if he's going to fight. It's possible that maybe he told Woodley two weeks ago, hey, look, start getting ready just in case. And then Woodley has to just come in and be ready to go. Yeah. But, you know, to your point, and I agree, fight shape and in shape are two different things. Just like in any sport, you can be in shape, but can you be in game shape or in fight shape in this case? So Woodley still has has the odds stacked against him because he's finding out a week and a half. That fight is next week. So he's just finding out, just like the rest of the world, that it's official now. I'm in that fight. With that being said, Tyron Woodley, I think, did score a knockdown in their first fight. The ropes held him up, and I thought the refs didn't recognize that the ropes held him up. Yeah. We also know that Jake Paul kind of ran the last four rounds of that fight after he got stung. Yeah, that that, that did happen. Right. Uh, <laughs> as, so as well, I'm going to be tuning in. And as you mentioned, I, I'm going to be rooting for Tyron Woodley to finish what he started the last time. Yeah. I, listen, I, I hope so. It's about it's about that time. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of all this uh, Jake Paul uh, talk, you know, so. This is your African king of Michael Blackson. You watch a real friends do a talk. Get real with it, my son.